All right, so I'm sleep deprived. Haven't slept on the airplane, haven't slept all day. My feet are killing me, I'm sump burnt. And just when I thought I was able to relax in the hotel room, and I get a message from Alex Pouncer saying a riot's gonna happen soon. So obviously, on my feet again, gonna cover it for you guys, see what happens. Alex Pouncer, Ooh. how are you? Good. Good. Who would think I would see you Here so quickly? G7. Going down. Oh no. I still got the G7 thing on. <laughs> What are the rules of the place you're taking me to? Uh, no press allowed. They do not like press. Uh, cops don't even enter the area. And if uh, media enters, your camera will get... This is one of the public universities here. And for about three to four years, all public universities have been closed to the students. And that's why there's so many student protesters right now. Unfortunately, no major incidents happened last night, but maybe that's for the better. We're still here on the ground reporting for you. And right now we're outside the long queues at the banks. What you're seeing right now are two different queues. One queue for the ATM where people are allowed 60 euros and another line for pensioners which are allowed 120 euros a day. So obviously everyone here is extremely disgruntled. They cannot take 60 euros at the bank, they can only take 50. A lot of the pensioners, some of them are bedridden, can't even be here. Life wasn't hard for them already. It's becoming a lot more difficult. People that I talk to in line here are saying it's almost impossible to survive on the pensions that they're giving here. Now they have to wait all day just to get 120 euros out of their pensions, which goes to supporting usually the whole family here. So tell me that the unemployment numbers here are also a lot higher than the official statistics. A lot of people here don't have jobs, don't have a way to survive, and they're not even entered into the programs here. The situation here is extremely dire, especially when you talk to some of the individuals here on this line. They said it couldn't happen again after Cyprus, but it is happening right now. And it's going to happen a lot more. If you know anything about the banking system, you know it's a complete fraud. The banks don't actually have your money there. If everyone withdrew their money, there would not be enough money for everyone. And this could happen anywhere, any country, anytime, any place, if enough people withdraw their money from their bank accounts. Globally, people are worried because if the people here vote no on the new loan agreements, that may spur more run on the banks and more bank holidays in Europe and the U.S. So right now we are exploring a university that has been shut down for the referendum. A lot of these universities have been under-operating, making education very difficult. And because education is very hard to achieve here, a lot of students actually join protest groups and join up with anarchists and communists and are in the streets. So right now we're hunting the Minister of Defense. As you can see, all the press is out here. We're waiting for him to come out. There's a guy out here with a sign saying that he does have sex. <laughs> This is actually the office of the finance minister, and as you can see, there's a group protesting, striking outside. Those are the cleaners whose wages were cut 80%. A lady came out from the finance ministry, a secretary of the prime minister, the finance prime minister, and said that the ATMs will have money in them until Sunday, then after that, it's up to the finance minister. Anarchists just ran up here, and they went towards the press. All the camera guys had to put their cameras down, and they're all in a panic, and we had to run away. Now we're back here, and now they're putting up the walls at the Ministry of Finance. I literally just saw all the journalists run away as soon as the anarchists came here, and as soon as they did... Ah, oh, crap, we got more news to report on. The journalist behind me just told me that the anarchists really dislike Americans, and to pretend that I'm Canadian and to always put my camera down when in these situations. As you can see by my eyes, we just got tear gas. There was one of the most intense altercations that I saw right over there. The anarchists just kicked out the, the anarchists just kicked out the police from the main parliament square here. Intense, intense clashes between the police and our anarchists at the no protest. But as you can see by my eyes, I need to recover, get something. Water makes tear gas a lot worse. So I have to tough it out for a little bit, but I can't see so I can't put my So right now this is the no rally and it is huge. <laughs> Here we have Golden Dawn, some communist members, anarchists, the current political party in charge, and average citizens saying no to the EU and IMF. As you can see by my face, I still have tear gas residue all over it, and it's all over my clothes, and it's burning my face. So I have to go back, shower, and change clothes right now. I think this would be the perfect time to give you a little tutorial on how to deal with tear gas. Now, Maylax, with a little bit of water mixed in, usually works best on the face, but it's It's not really available. <laughs> so you have to take a shower, have to wash your clothes, wash your face as much as you can. It's going to hurt at first, but you just got to keep running the water on your face. Pretty much run the water as much as you can until your face doesn't hurt and burn.
I have to try to get everything out of your face, all the mucus, all the spit. Wash your eyes out as much as you can. FYI, the video is uploading right now of an insane class that I did get tear gas on youtube.com forward slash we are changed. You have to go there and check it out right now. This is Geraldo Rivera reporting for you in Greece. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up Geraldo Rivera bathroom selfie. Back out again, and I'm very curious about how many people actually showed up to the yes rally that's happening very close to the no rally. Right now, we are watching the people who will be voting yes Sunday to agreeing with the EU and IMF terms. This is also a very significantly huge crowd who are going to be voting yes this coming Sunday. They are made up of common people, and then and the previous political party known as the New Democracy Party, a right-wing group that was allowing all the austerity measures to pass through previously. This crowd is huge. Of course, it's impossible to predict, but just from the sheer numbers in the rallies and on the streets, it looks like there's a lot more people saying no Sunday than there is yes. This is going to be it for our coverage today, but don't forget to stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have a lot more content coming your way. If you're interested in doing what I'm doing and making journalism your life, check out Change Media University on wearechange.org. Not only supports this fully independent media organization, but it will also teach a new wave of journalists that will be on the front lines here with me. It gets pretty lonely here on the front lines, but if I could do it, you could do it.